हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दिस सेक्शन ऑफ एडवांस्ड पर्ल इन द कोर्स पर्ल पावर ऑफ पर्ल अ कोर्स कवरिंग बेसिक एंड एडवांस्ड पर्ल सो टिल नाउ वी सॉ बेसिक्स ऑफ पर्ल वी गॉट स्टार्टेड विद हाउ टू इंस्टॉल अ पर्ल सिस्टम देन वी स्पोक अबाउट फर्स्ट पर्ल प्रोग्राम एंड देन वी वेंट थ्रू बेसिक पर्ल डाटा टाइप्स कंडीशनल ऑपरेटर्स लूप सब रूटीन्स एंड इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी टॉक्ट अबाउट सब रूटीन्स so uh, now switching gears what we will be using is now till now you have got familiar with the basics of pearls what we will be using is we will be uh, using those basics of pearls along with some inbuilt modules and we will be exploring advanced pearl okay and in this advanced pearl section we will have four topics where we will be discussing file read and write operations then we will be doing sub, uh, spreadsheet read and write operations interfacing with ms sql databases and then we will be creating a uh, perl modules and then uh, using it to generate html formatted content right uh, so let's start with file read and write operations right so what we will be doing is like uh, i have not created a lot of files i just want to focus on the crux over here uh, i have uh, pushed in a lot of data into one single file correct so to start with right what are the few facts about file read and write operations uh, file access type uh, whether we open a file for read write append or read plus write is defined by uh, these symbols pointed bracket opening bracket closing bracket and then this is for read write read uh, this is for append and this is for read write and once we open a file right it will be uh, similar to how it's happen in c and c++ once we open a file we need to use a file handler to re refer to the opened file and we use a keyword close to close the file once we have done operate uh, once we are uh, doing uh, once we are done using the file or doing the operations whatever you wanted so keyword close is used to close a file and a file has uh, to be always opened before doing any operations so we will always open a file doing before doing any operations using an open keyword and then we will be using a keyword close to close a file and file handler is a necessary to refer to the opened file if you see over here a not dollar shows the error message so this is a inbuilt it has a special meaning it shows the error message for access failures file access failures uh, uh, in short right uh, let me discuss this standard input standard output and standard error so basically whenever we try to output a file uh, if we use a print statement with a print handle uh, right if we simply use a print print is by default uses standard output because that's why whenever you use a print statement in a perl program it prints everything to the output terminal print by uses standard out over here we can uh, uh, we use print uh, and redirect the output to into a different file using a file handler in case we are writing into a file die or warn if we use this keywords die or warn it uses standard error by default correct and standard input is the terminal uh, through which we can take any input right then there are few file checks uh, so if we use minus e it means whether the file exists or not minus r if the file is readable or not minus w if it is writable executable minus l if the symbolic link is present or not minus t means if the directory exists or or not right so basically whenever we try to open a file for uh, reading writing appending or read write we need to use a file handle Uh, first of all we need to open a file then use a file handler and before opening a file it's always a good check to see whether the file we are trying to open is uh, does it exist is it, if it is readable or if a directory is present or not right now uh, coming to the main topic we will be discussing following with examples file reading file writing appending read write so basically i will be discussing file reading writing and appending uh, read write i will leave it to you guys for exploring part and for file reading right i will discuss the use of chomp statement chomp is another keyword in perl very strong keyword and very powerful keyword to remove new line character which is while reading a new file correct uh, let's jump on to some coding now if you see i have created a piece of code uh, let's do one thing uh, let's comment out this portion of the code so basically uh, since we need to explore the later half later okay so if you, you see a uh, basic perl program use strict use this this is something new right which we have not used till now so basically use get top long so basically tells like use get topped long module which is present in 
this Perl interpreter. So basically, a lot of Perl modules will already be present over here and saying use get topped dot pm file, right? And what we do use is like a basic use of get options is to input a variable. So basically, we are saying get options. Uh, if uh, whenever we run this code, we will input is equal to s. So basically, we will uh, use an input keyword to get a string input. And whenever we get that input, we store it in a file called input file. Over here, we are using a escape character to say that okay, this is a dollar input file. It's a special character. Its meaning should be retained. And uh, so basically, get options is for getting a string input with an input sign. Uh, whatever we specify, a string following minus input in the beginning of the while invoking this code will be captured into dollar input file. Right. So now, example of uh, reading a file. So basically, uh, one thing I want to highlight over here is we have de uh, declared this variable before using it because we are using strict. And if we don't put this declaration over here, if we don't uh, de uh, define the scope using my operator, the code will run into an error. Right now, example of reading a file. What I'm doing is I'm just creating an array, and now this is I'm using a minus e. If you remember, minus e stands for if a file exists uh, exists or not. So basically, file check if a file exists or not. If a file exists, what I am doing is I am opening a file which I am inputting. I am getting it from user input file from user. I am opening the file in a read mode and storing it in a file handle. So this is used file handle is used for referring to a file. If I am not if this statement is not happening, if this opening a file is not uh, working, it will die out. Uh, saying a standard cannot open input file for reading. Right. Once I open open it for reading, what I do is I store the contents of the file using this command into an array. Right. And then I close this input file. And similarly, if you see the piece of code over here, right, if it, this file doesn't exist, it will print an error saying that input file doesn't exist. Now, basically what I'm done over here is I've simply opened an input file for reading, copied the contents into an input file details and I am printing it over here. Correct. Now it is up to us what file we give as an input. So let's try to run this piece of code. So basically, if you see, this is file operations.pl. Now I have to give input string, and that string is something which I've already created and I am storing it over here. Uh, this is the input file.txt, is the one which we used in our last lecture, uh, right? If you remember. Uh, this is a file which we used in the last example. Uh, let's use this file itself, right? So what I'm using is I'm using this file. What it is doing is it's able to read the contents of this file and it's printing it. Correct. Now this is a, a basic example of file read write operations. Uh, and now one more example to show you let me remove uh, if you see over here what i'm doing is i'm parsing through this entire array for each at the rate this so basically by default everything will be stored in dollar underscore variable what i'm doing is uh, let me comment out this there are different ways of printing this array do either i print like this or i can print like this also where i'm saying that read each and every element and print it right It has printed the same contents of a file. Now I have another file also over here, sample.txt. And if I open that sample.txt, say hello, this is an example of file reading. See you. So if you see, this was my sample input file. I read this file, opened it, read it, and printed with the contents of the file over here. Correct. And so this is a basic example of file read operation. Now what we will do is uh, we will move on to file write. So let me do one thing. Let me comment this portion of code and uh, let me comment this portion of code as well for comment and then we will cut it. Correct. Now this is an example of writing into a file. So what I am doing over here is okay. Let's not uh, comment this because if you see I am using this particular array over here. So let's remove this. It's okay. It will print one extra statement. Let it print. It will print these things. Let it print. So what we are doing over here is I am writing into a file. I am creating an output file variable saying output file resides over here. Outputs file output.txt. Right. What I'm doing is I am opening this file 
for writing and I am using an, a file handle to refer to this file output file if this operation is not possible if this write operation fails it will uh, die out throwing this error what I am doing is uh, once I open this file I will print into the output file all the contents of this thing correct so now what I do over here is if I execute this piece of code uh, there will be a file which will be created at this directory and the contents of this file will be same as the contents of the input file whatever we give so basically I am giving the sample.txt I run this what has happened over here is it has led to creation of file in Perl output file output folder and if I open that I go to outputs I go to file output it printed the same contents of the file correct so this is an example of writing into a file similarly next example is for appending into a file I am just removing this as well now what I am doing is I am opening the output file whatever I created over here in the append mode using this file handle and I am printing into this file the contents of this input details again so basically what I am doing is uh, uh, this will what it will do is it will uh, first of all whenever this statement is executed I am writing into a file the contents of the file which are already present will be erased and input details content will be written now I am appending over here so basically I am writing the same contents again so these contents will be present at the this will be added in the file again so basically uh, the same thing will be present in the output file twice because it's opening as an appending not as a write mode so let me execute this piece of code again let me open that file uh, again I will go to outputs file output the same thing is present twice the first time file left over here the file handle like the file uh, end of the file was pointing over here so whenever it starts printing it will start printing from over here correct similarly if I give different file as an input if I give other file input file as an input and we see what is the status of output file it has printed the same contents whatever is present in the another file so uh, basically if you see uh, in this lecture uh, we saw different file operations how to read a file uh, use a file handle and how to check if a file exists and then we saw different operators over here for reading a file writing into a file and then appending into a file one more file operation which is possible in Perl is a read and write operation using the keyword plus this one right so basically I will leave it for you as an example so that uh, you will get some hands-on practice also to implement how to read and write file uh, simultaneously right uh, at the same point of time so that's it for this lecture uh, see you in the next one thank you